Yes, we are going to do another limit. Have a look right here. This time I will show you the limit as x approaching 5 and suppose we have 1 over x minus 1 over 5 over x minus 5. Yes, this is a complex fraction situation and yes, if we put 5 into all the x's, we get 0 over 0. So congratulations, we will have to do more work. It's not so bad though, because as long as we multiply the top and bottom by 5x, and that's the least common denominator of the small fractions, you will see we can actually get rid of the complex fraction situation. Have a look. Yes, we are going to write down the limit as x approaching 5 again. 5x times 1 over x is 5 minus 5x times 1 over 5, we get x. And then here, the bottom, just leave it, so we have 5x times x minus 5. Now, a lot of students they like to just cancel this down now, but they are not exactly the same, right? The order of subtraction matters. So we really have to write this down again, the limit as x approaching 5. On the top, technically, you write down negative parentheses and then have the x minus 5 inside. And at the bottom here, we have the 5x times x minus 5. Now, we can cancel, cancel, and here's the best part. Let's put a 5 into the x. Remember, we still have negative 1 on top, so this is negative 1 over 5 over 5. Ladies and gentlemen, answer is negative 1 over 25. That's it. Yes, that's much better. No, of course not that, but pretty good.